والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم اتق الله حيثما كنت واتبع السيئه حسنه تمحوها وخالق الناس بخلق حسن Prophet وسلم, concentrating on the three most important areas of our lives as Muslims. That is one, our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, our relationship with one another as Muslims. And number three, the relationship that we have with ourselves. These are the three most important relationships that we have in our lives. He said, kunt. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are. Not just in the masjid, not just when you are around Muslims. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are, in your households, in your workplace. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Know that Allah is always watching you, waiting to hold you accountable for the things that you do that are disobedient. And taqwa, the word taqwa, it comes from the word taqwa or wiqaya, which means a barrier. A wiqaya is a barrier. And the more you do of good and stay away from evil, the distance you are putting between yourself and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is taqwa. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Hudayfa asked him, what is taqwa? And Umar, he said to Hudayfa, don't you know what taqwa is? He said, yeah, but I want to hear what your definition of taqwa is. So Umar asked him, how select a tariq in that shok? Qala bala. Qala wa mada fa'alt. Qala shammartu thawbi. Faqala Umar, wa thalika huwa taqwa. He asked Hudayfa, have you ever walked down a path that had bushes with thorns on them? He said, yes. Hudayfa said, yes. He said, well, what did you do? He said, I pulled my thobe close so that I wouldn't get snagged by the thorns. And Omar said, and that is taqwa. To stay close to obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that you don't get snagged by the thorns of disobedience and earn the pleasure, the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اِتَّقِ اللَّهِ حَيْثُ مَا كُنْتْ Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wherever you are. This was one of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa O Prophet, fear Allah. Nobody is above being told, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second thing he said, he said, Follow up with a bad deed, with a good deed, and it'll wipe it away. This is one of the ways that we keep our slates clean as believers. There are many things uh, much like the lotus leaf. The lotus leaf is a leaf that grows even in the middle of the, uh, of the jungle. And every time dirt gets on the leaf, <clears throat> whenever water falls on the leaf, the water rolls off of the leaf and it takes all of the dirt with it. So the, the lotus leaf, it is always pristine. It is always clean. And this is the believer. Because there are so many mechanisms we have in our religion to help us keep our slate clean. Like shaking the hands of your brother when you meet him. As the Prophet ﷺ said, that no two believers meet each other and shake each other's hands. Except that they shake hands. And as long as they are shaking hands, the sins are falling off of them like the leaves fall off of a tree. SubhanAllah. This is just meeting your brother shaking his hand. The Prophet ﷺ said that when you make wudu, every sin that you committed with your eyes falls off with every drop of water that comes off of your face. And every sin that you committed with your hands, for every drop of water that comes off of your hand is the sins dropping off of you with each drop of water until the believer finishes making wudu and there's no sin left upon him. SubhanAllah. 
The Prophet ﷺ said, لو كان في باب أحدكم نهرا ويقتسل فيه خمس مرات في اليوم هل يبقى من درنه شيء He said that if one of you had a river in front of your door that you bathed in five times a day, at the end of the day, would there be any dirt left on you? If you took a bath five times a day, would there be any dirt left on, left on you? No. He said, then likewise, this is what the five daily prayers do to the sins. At the end of the day, there's no sin on So there are so many self-cleaning mechanisms that we have as believers. And one of them, as the Prophet Sallallahu said in this hadith, is to follow up a bad deed with a good deed and it'll wipe it away. Follow up a bad deed with a good deed and it'll wipe it away. You do something wrong, turn around and do something good, and it'll wipe it away. And then the last thing he said, And treat people with good character. Treat people with good character. Our deen, deen of Al-Islam, is not just a deen of theology, a deen of a religion of beliefs, but this is also deen al-amal. It is a deen of social interactions with other people, with non-Muslims as well as with Muslims. And we are responsible for representing Islam. You as a Muslim, you may not look at yourself as being anyone because you're not an imam or you're not a student of knowledge, you're not a da'i or one of these other big titles that people walk around with, but you are a Muslim and you are responsible for the way that you represent Islam with Muslims as well as with non-Muslims. Khaliq nas bi khuluqin hasan and treat people with good character. And this is a golden rule in Islam as the Prophet sallallahu said in another hadith and come to people with the same character that you would like people to treat you with. That's a good one. We were in grammar school. They had uh, something called the golden rule, right? And it said, treat others as you would like to be treated. And that's the golden rule that we have even in Islam, that you treat people with good character, despite the fact that people may not treat you the same way uh, as our being good to people is not contingent on people being good to us. Despite the fact that people may not be good to us, we are still good to other people, as that is our nature as Muslims. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam wa taslim al-kathira wa akhiru da'wana ala alhamdulillahi wa barakatuh. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.